Okay, you've uh, you've heard the story. Uh, 84 year old lady who uh, presented a week or so ago, a slightly unusual combination of uh, a number of quite sizable uh, bile duct stones, but also with a hyla stricture. Last week we did an ERCP, removed her bile duct stones, um, and also did a spyglass cholangioscopy, which confirmed. Um, a hyalocalangia carcinoma on spy bite biopsies. Uh, the aim today is to take out her, her plastic stent that we put in and um, insert two um, uh, uncovered mesh metal biliary stents to optimize her drainage. Um, we're using the, uh, uh, the, p the Pentax uh, uh, ED34 therapeutic duodenoscope. Uh, one Ordinarily, we would say that 10 French stents need to be removed uh, not through the working channel but I think if you can grab the very end of it and particularly if you could get the, the jaws of the biopsy forceps into the end of a 10 French stent you can remove it through the scope I think if it folds over then um, uh, even a you know 4.2 millimeter diameter scope if it folds over you have a lot of difficulty and I would usually not do that. Close. If I can, so I'm dropping the bridge down, just seeing if that'll come through nice and slowly. All of these complex cases, if, the, if there's ever a question about needing to stent the liver hilum, um, every case needs to go through uh, a specialist multidisciplinary meeting. Um, that will be fine. I'm now going to leave that wire in place. We're now going to go back in with the sphincterotome and go with another um, uh, long wire. And I'll, I'll, we'll, I'll show you why we're using long wires in this uh, case. We're going to go for a Visiglide 2 wire down the sphincterotome. Okay, very good. Very good. So that's nice. That's fine. I'm going to come out with that, um, come out with the sphincterotome now. So I've got nice wires in left and right anterior, which is beautiful. Um, I am, um, now one of the advantages, of course, of using two different wires is you don't get confused as to which one you're putting a stent or an instrument down, which can be a little bit embarrassing if you get all that wrong. Um, no. Okay, so we're just going down with the, um, uh, the Cook uh, 8 to uh, 8.5 to 15 uh, millimeter fusion extraction balloon. Um, I, I just want to define the uh, stricture of the right anterior. I only went with a sphincterotome, first of all, but um, we've defined the left duct stricture nicely. I just want to be sure exactly where where we're going to how how far proximally the right anterior stricture goes, and that's very good. Um, okay, excellent. So now we're going to stent. Sorry. Um, so we're going to use here uh, the uh, Cook Zilva uh, mesh metal uh, stent. A few things to say about the Zilva stent. So this is um, uh, expands to 10 millimeters, but is delivered uh, over a six French delivery catheter. Now what that then allows is us to potentially uh, insert both stents down the working channel at the same time. So we're coming up, we're putting in bilateral 12 centimeter. Back so we've got the delivery system in the right, which is very nice. And now we're just going in the left. Can be one of the issues, of course, if you put, you know, if you put metal stents in sequentially, you can find that you have a great deal of difficulty getting the second one in. So okay, now there we are. So a couple of things to say. Um, uh, these uh, Zilver stents uh, from Cook, um, they uh, nitinol cut stents, um, six French delivery system, very little foreshortening. And so we are expecting that where we have those radio paint markers, that is going those positions are going to be maintained. And you can see that I've now got both stents nicely in position in the duodenum. And now what we're going to do is deploy a centimeter and then a centimeter, a centimeter and a centimeter. This is right, this is left. So let's go with right, please. Yeah, keep going. Stop there. 
Good. And now let's go with the left. One centimetre. Keep going. Uh, both deployed together now. Keep going. Yep. Keep going. Way all the way. Keep going. Go on. All the way. That's nice. And then the other one. Yeah. And the other one. Keep going. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, so I think that um, great. Um, I think great result. Um, uh, really nice bilateral metal stenting. I have to say that having the confidence of having both stents deployed or both delivery systems side by side in position, um, uh, we've all had the occasion where we've we've got wires in both sides. One has deployed a stent in one side, and then because of the tightness of the stricture, had an absolute devil of a time trying to get the other stent in. Um, so, but that's a really nice result. Uh, screen, please. Um, and we always like what we call shotgun at the end. We like to, to, to at the end, have both the stents coming out into the duodenum like this so that we can go back in and access at a later date if we need to.